Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create simple icons in PowerPoint. The icon that you are going to learn today is that of a man. Uh, this is the icon that you will learn to create and this is a very versatile uh, icon because you can use them use this icon in a number of ways and one example of using this is to represent collective thinking where many people give their ideas to create that one big idea so that is uh, one of the ways in which you can use uh, this man icon let us see how to create this icon from scratch by going to a new slide and that also showcases how easy it is to create icons when you combine a few auto shapes. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to rectangles tool in auto shapes menu and I'm going to use this one called as rounded rectangle. I click on it and draw a rounded rectangle. I can choose to increase the curvature by moving the yellow box towards the center and that creates um, a rounded rectangle with a big curvature. Now the next thing I am going to do is to go to the same tool which is the rounded rectangle here and I am going to draw a rounded rectangle here which is somewhere around a two-third of uh, the previous one and I am going to once again increase the curvature. Maybe I can increase the height of the body. So what I'm, if you have observed closely, what I have done is this is the body and this is the pair of legs and we are going to have the oval which represents the head. So I'm going to use the oval tool to create the head. Make sure that the size of the head is um, proportional to the body size. Now that we have got this done, first we are going to click on these two shapes. Make sure that they are arranged properly. So I go to Arrange, Align and Align Center. Now that it is properly arranged, I am going to go to Format, Merge Shapes and press this option called as Union option. You can find the Union option in PowerPoint 2010 as well. You need to call those um, tools into your quick access toolbar to be able to access them. So that is how you use the same thing in PowerPoint 2010. You don't have the merge options in PowerPoint 2007. Now we keep the body and the head aligned properly. Now that I am in the format toolbar, I can go to align, align center and that makes sure that the head and the body are aligned properly. Maybe if you want, you can reduce the height, uh, distance between the head and the body. And you select both the shapes here. Press Ctrl G to group them. Shape fill, maybe a gray color would do good. Shape outline, no outline and our uh, man diagram is ready. Now you can make multiple copies of this because I'm going to replicate this one here. So it's very simple. I am going to reduce the size. The beauty of this whole thing is I can ungroup and have the body as tall as I want or as narrow as I want. So everything is completely editable. All right, so let's group them back again and control D to duplicate. So one, two, three, four, five. So I've got six copies made. Each time I press control D, I have a copy created. Uh, and there is no sanctity to that number. If, if you feel that you've got sufficient number of icons replicated, you can um, stop. Once again, go to Arrange, Align and this time distribute horizontally so that they, there is equal space between these various icons. And then go to Arrange, Align, Align Top so that they are all placed um, in the same level. The next thing is to add some reflection so that looks like they are standing on a shiny surface 
and whenever you add reflection you automatically create some kind of a 3d uh, option there so if you don't want these icons to float in the air a good idea is to go to rectangles and draw a rectangle send it back by right clicking and going to send to back option use a light gray color as uh, the fill color remove the shape outline and that gives the floor for these five icons to stand on then finally it is very simple you draw arrows and make sure that they are all converging to one place and the last thing that you do is to pick up this bulb icon and the text control c and get back here control v and keep it here and that's it you can of course add your title right at the beginning and then do this because i wanted to have as much real estate to show you the diagram clearly i had uh, omitted the creation of uh, title at the beginning so this is how you create if you want to learn how to create the bulb icon you can always refer to another tutorial in our youtube channel so this is how you create simple icons in powerpoint the real power of icons is when you combine icons with custom animation feature in powerpoint let me show you the power of this combination by giving you some example templates from our 630 plus advanced custom animation pack in powerpoint and we are going to show the simple concept of ideation thinking brainstorming etc using the combination of icons and um custom animation the first example is that of this one about collective opinion of different team members let us say you want to show that there are different people involved in collective opinion creation then you can have the photos of those people instead of these uh, dummy um, silhouettes here and then on click you can say that these people have all contributed their ideas and on the next click you have the collective opinion and you can write your collective opinion text here let me show you another example this one um conveys the concept of one big idea leading to many small ideas this is the big idea you can talk about the big idea here and on the next click you have multiple small ideas coming out and you can write about the small ideas here let me show you another example this one talks about idea to execution on one click we have idea 1 the next click the next idea and the next click the next idea here we talk about idea generation and on the next click you can see that we add the relevant graphics to communicate the idea of execution and here you can write your text about execution let me give you another example template here we show small ideas leading to big idea on a click you can see how different icons of ideas pop up and all of them come together to create one big idea which glows here and you can write details about the big idea the final example is this one which is about idea converting into dollars first we show the idea and then we talk about the black box which is full of multiple processes and when the idea goes into the process or system of processes then you can see money coming out you can replace the sample text with your own text which explains this whole concept of ideas converting into dollars as you can see here we have combined icons with custom animation to communicate a wide variety of concepts and you might have guessed by now that it takes a lot of time and effort to to use animation the right way if you are a busy busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such elaborate custom animations you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for powerpoint there are more than 630 such brilliant custom animated templates where you can pick up the template that matches your thought replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time 
creating professional quality animated powerpoint slides has never been easier hope you like the tutorial on creating simple icons in powerpoint if you want to learn more such articles if you want to read articles that improve your uh, presentation skills and powerpoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting